I came to get the mail and look what I found. This is so awesome on those steps. Look at this, what these girls done. All kinds of stuff here. Free, take what you need. Love the demons. Ain't that awesome? Now I'm not gonna be hoggish. Uh, I am gonna take some of this yellow squash. I come back tomorrow, there's still some here. I'm gonna take some more. I'm gonna take some more. But I'm not gonna be hoggish tonight. I'm gonna take about four. I'm gonna leave four. I'm gonna take five. I'm gonna take two zucchinis. I don't know what this stuff down here is. I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. I wonder what this is. I'll ask her. All right, I took some. That is so awesome, look at that. Free, take what you want. Ain't that girl something else? The Demons. The little boxes here with stuff in them all the way down. Anybody. That is so cute. That girl is something else. She's a blessing for this family, I'll tell you that. I was so afraid. I was gonna have to come back at night, you know. Some old Marine Corps training slip around out there in the dark, like in the jungle, getting me some vegetables. But she made it so much easier. She's trying to make me stay honest. <laughs> I love that girl. But that is an awesome garden. There's a little chicken run. Awesome stuff. I see some of the plants that she got in that box. I don't know what they are. I'll wait and ask her. All right, I gotta get home with this mail. Bree is tearing her porch down today. Off the front of her house. I salvaged a few parts. You know how I am. Uh, they can't take a lot of time taking it apart because they're coming Thursday to pick it up. And she's gonna be staying. They're getting another home. That home has had issues since they got it. It's had leaks that they can't fix in the walls and under the flooring. Uh, and the company said, just bring it back in or whatever they're going to do. They're going to bring her another one. Anyway, however that works. But uh, so I helped them drag some of it off. Jake and Dale taking the Porsche off. And she only got a couple of days. She's got to get all of her stuff out of there. Guys probably don't think I've done nothing today. I just come back from Kim's. I went down my little mule here, four wheel drive, hooked onto her duck house, which is gonna be a dog house, and moved it to where she wanted it to be moved. Uh, I was gonna take my tractor and do it and bar Jake's forks, but I don't know where Jake's at and the forks are on his tractor. So I just went for the mule. Now, let me show you what I'm doing here now. I'm taking uh, these steps down for Bree, and I'm gonna put them over here out of the way so she can use them again on her next porch. Uh, trying to help out, because she they're gonna move this house, I think, on Thursday. She's got to have all this out of the way. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm staying busy. All right, Daniel and Jake, they use nail guns on almost everything, so you can't take it apart. So I'm just going to hook on to it and drag it out of her way so she can use it again. Perfectly good steps. No need to waste them. In my opinion. And I'll dig it old post up, throw it away far, and I guess I'll move that one out of the way too. Okay. Yeah, I'm using screws. And, and I do too, when I can. Because if I gotta take something apart, it's real easy. Alright, hang on, I ain't gonna do four wheel drive here, kid. They can move them wherever they want to. 
Got them out of the way. I didn't hurt that chair. That chair's got a rip all the way through it. So I am pretty sure they plan on getting rid of the chair, but I'm not going to do that. Looks like a looks like Bree sitting. <laughs> don't y'all tell her I said that. She'd be mad at me. I don't like driving around over here too much. <laughs> Get flat. But uh, I am going to leave this right here, and I'm going to bring my tractor, and I'm going to push that little post over right there and pick it up out of this. Got concrete on the bottom. It's hard to pull up by my hand. By hand, the one next to the building, I'm not going to touch it because let me show you. It's right up beside that building. And it's got concrete at the base. I don't want to pull it up and damage that house, so I'm just going to pull this one up out of the way. Daniel can, or Jake, if they want to pull it up, they can. Or they'll have to pull it up. But I'm going to leave it to be their responsibility. And they can put a chain around the base and pick straight up. But the thing is, that concrete's up underneath that siding. And it's going to probably pull that siding off, which they'll take that siding off anyway, I guess, when they move, it, move the home. Anyway, I'm going to pull this up out of there and get it out of the way. And I'm moving two old blocks out of their way. Well, I'm going to go over, pull that post up on my new tractor. But it's kind of hot. So... I'm going to reach up here. Put it on low, low, low coop. Okay, I was able to pull that post up, concrete and all. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it down on the ground. And then I'm going to get these two big concrete blocks laid out here and put them in a bucket. And I may try to put this in a bucket also. So let's just ease it, let's just ease it down. Up. We'll save the two concrete blocks. That'll go in the fire pile. And there's steps over there all the way. I was telling a lot of these nails out here. You gotta watch because they don't roll with those nails. Anyway, we kept. Oh, I don't see where that is. This guy. All right, you're not going to be able to ride, baby girl, because it's running along the side. I go real slow. Okay, real slow. Ooh, it's cool out here. <laughs> I got that stuff loaded. I'm going to take it to the dump. This is called Lester's Gift at work. That's the gift that work. That's a good, good time. A couple of sweat so so bad, so sweaty. Not an air conditioner blowing so cold. Woo! I'm going real slow. Addie's just walking along, looking around. She's not having to run at all. Got to open the gate. I need a gate over there, Heidi. Alright, go for gate.
park. If, no, I'm not getting in there, Hattie. I'm not getting in it. I check the pond every morning we come out. First thing I do is ride around the ponds and look at it snakes. I mean, there'll always be one hiding somewhere. You're not going to see them all the way, but sometimes they're pretty obvious. If you're out there, you see them swimming before you get there or go into the water. I haven't finished my, my fence yet. We'll try to work on it this put up a few more panels. salvage operation. You know how I am. You know how I am. I just want to salvage a little bit of that stuff out of that porch. I may not be through. I may not be through. I got my own little stack put off to one side. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to go in and eat some lunch. I love you guys. Catch y'all later. Kippy followed me. Followed me down to the fire pile. He's tired, I guess. <laughs> He's tired. I'm tired, Papa. That's a lot of walking for me, my little feet. He could have rode. There's a lot of room in here for Skippy. There's lots of room in here for Skippy. This is the only place Hattie can sit, and I can't get to my clutch pedal with her here. So the other day when she got in here to see, she had stretched all the way across here and I can't get to none of the pedals because it's kind of like a cockpit in here it really is it's kind of like a cockpit it's awesome but it's not quite a big enough room for me and Heidi both now uh, just looking at it she can't get on this side because you got all these controls here this side here You've got controls also. you got all these controls here and the, and the clutch. So and this is the only place I thought she might sit. And if she would sit, you know, I may try and let her get, get in here and, and get all settled down. If she would sit, so there's probably enough room for her. If she would sit. But she tries to stretch out through underneath my legs, and it just don't work. This side is no way to do it this side. You can't do it over here at all. All right, I'm going to get in and get me some lunch. Kippy's awake. Heidi's awake, but she's she's dirty because she went in the pond. <laughs> so I'm letting her kind of dry off a little bit. All right, guys. All right, guys, a uh, cuz come by this morning. And uh, just in our conversations, I was telling him that I wanted to come over one day and video the steps that he goes through to make a bow. A lot of people ask. Uh, and, and not to show every step as far as what he's doing, but just to show us the steps. Like, we start with an old block of wood. And then you do this step, this step, this step. There's several steps. It's, it's a time consuming, a lot of skill involved to get those final bowls like we see. And they're beautiful, they're beautiful. I was amazed at some of the steps he showed me the other day. I said, let me just come over and video it in your shop. And we may try to do it on Friday. Uh, think about maybe Friday, I can run over Friday morning and make a video and get it out for you the, early the next week. 
and uh, and I'll when I do, I'll show his email in case you're interested. He he don't have no bowls made right now to sell. Yeah, he's been going through some health issues, so when he works on them, it's kind of just now and then. It's not like just go out in the shop and I got a cold, not a cold, of sinuses. <laughs> uh, but there's a lot of stuff to go involved, but if he hadn't felt good for the days he don't feel like it or a doctor's appointments or whatever, uh, you know, you just can't do this stuff full time like he'd like. He would love to. And uh, he gets some of these issues worked out. He may get into a full time day to day basis. But uh, anyway, he said he would list his email. And if somebody was interested, they could talk about what they want and he could, you know, go back and forth and deal with them or tell them what he could do it for or whatever. So anyway, we're going to do that. Try to do it on Friday. He said he'd be home Friday. He's got a doctor's appointment on Thursday. Uh, I have one tomorrow, so I can't go tomorrow. So maybe Friday we can get it and post it first, first next week. We'll try. All right, I'm going to go in make me some lunch. Kick back in my chair for a little while. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Y'all take care.